It's human nature to want to be as attractive as possible. It's the reason for booming billion dollar industries such as beauty, dating, life coaching, pickup, and even fitness. Studies have shown that being attractive also means you're more likely to be considered for opportunities over less attractive people. While a lot of human attractiveness is determined by genetic factors that can't easily be changed, there's a surprising number of psychological hacks you can start implementing to not only start getting more love interests, but more opportunities in general. In this video, I'm going to show you five psychological hacks to be more attractive. I'm not going to mention anything generic or obvious, such as just be more confident or take a shower, since everyone already knows that stuff. I'm going to show you techniques that aren't talked about and with some practice will raise your overall value in the sexual market. Before we begin, however, be sure to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Believe it or not, Stefan, some girls don't need my persuasion. Some girls just can't resist my good looks my style and my charm and my unflinching ability to listen to Taylor Swift. The first psychological hack to be more attractive is called Cocky Funny. Cocky Funny is an old pickup artist technique from the early 2000s popularized by David D'Angelo. It basically involves being highly confident to the point of cockiness while adding humor in. This has the effect of making you look sure of yourself while also showing that you are lighthearted and fun. As we just saw from Damon in The Vampire Diaries, cocky funny is a trait that is often seen in people who have a lot of positive energy, and these same people always seem to attract a lot of girls as well. A lot of main characters in TV and movies are this archetype. Cocky funny is the sort of thing that can be done at any time, and depending on how funny and confident you are, will determine how attractive it makes you look. A great way to practice cocky funny is to watch very cocky comedians and study characters like Damon. Over time, your humor and confidence will improve to where you are naturally cocky funny. No, no. Oh. no, no, no. Oh, no. Oh. Babe, is that... No, 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 no. Oh, oh, babe, is that you? I'm so, Shanice, I'm so, I'm so sorry. Oh, Shanice, I'm so sorry. If that's an accident, then I'm Trevor McDonald. Are you okay? I can't believe it. Anytime we see someone who is truly carefree, assuming they are coming from a place of confidence, we're always envious of them. This is because we secretly wish we could do what they do without fear of consequence. These people are attractive because it shows they are independent and natural leaders. To boost your own attractiveness, practice being carefree. Do what you want to do without fear and simply be yourself. As we saw in the clip with Stefan Bear, he was not afraid to spray his date with wine even though she surely could have reacted badly and possibly left or not liked him. He wasn't worried about that, however. The only thing he was concerned about was being himself and having fun. This idea closely relates to outcome independence, which is separating yourself from an outcome and accepting whatever happens because you don't have control of outcomes. Aside from this hack being one that is seen in highly attractive people, it is also good for you because it allows you to not stress so much over what could have been. While it may seem daunting to be carefree and not give a fuck, it's actually easier than it looks. Simply practice letting things go and not dwelling so much on them. Start small, then work your way up and to realize things that used to make you upset don't anymore. You'll then start to feel more charismatic because you're not afraid to express yourself, which is highly attractive. Catherine is welcome to see No, she's not, it's not, no. You're beautiful. Should I just sit here? Sure. Please I'll just be here. Russell, look away. With my sexual charisma. All right, there you go. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I was thinking about something, because as you know, I've announced it, I find Catherine very attractive. <laughs> then when she said exchange numbers, I thought things that I'd like to exchange with her. <laughs> <laughs> and I, when I say we, I mean my husband. Yeah, but you, you know, look at the way you drop the jets. You could drop that guy any day. <laughs> A lot of people who are highly successful with beautiful women have a habit of always assuming attraction. To assume attraction means to assume that everyone is always attracted and into you regardless of the situation. You treat all women as wanting to be with you and that the idea of being rejected does not exist. Russell Brand in particular uses this technique all the time and it's his primary flirting method. Assuming attraction is so powerful because it's assuming confidence. It also means that you never place limiting beliefs on yourself, such as thinking, oh, she would never go for a guy like me, or she's too good for me, or any other idea that you have already been rejected without even trying. Assuming attraction removes these negative ideas. To do this successfully, you need to actually believe you're the most attractive man on the planet. This can be difficult if your confidence is low, but just as with every other hack on this list, you need to fake it till you make it if you aren't already there. 
When you fake being confident or assuming attraction, you will notice people in turn respond positively, which will make you feel actually confident and attractive. With practice, you will then actually become these things without having to fake it anymore. When you assume attraction, you will notice more often than not, girls really are attracted to you. Henry Cavill, I love you with your glowing skin and your perfect face and the beautiful curls in your hair. I just want to hug you because you are the love of my life. People are not nearly as thirsty as I thought they might be. I've read worse things in my comments. Henry Cavill is lusted by a lot of celebrities and normal people all over the world. He isn't surprised by people being attracted to him because it happens all the time as seen in the clip. Henry Cavill can like stick his tongue down my throat, I guess. Thanks. Thanks for the opportunity. He knows he is a very attractive man and because of this, he is never too eager to make himself available to anyone. This abundant attitude is highly attractive because it tells people that you get this type of attention all the time and it's what you expect. To use this yourself, be aloof, but not dismissive when someone is interested in you. Be kind and humorous, but don't be too eager to rush into anything. By remaining unfazed by attention, you show you are the prize. Learn to be somewhat aloof and non-reactive in all situations, and you will be seen as much more attractive because you appear in control of yourself and the situation. I actually made another video where I break down James Bond and show how he stays so non-reactive if you want to learn more on this particular topic. Why are you taking your jacket to the toilet? <laughs> Hi. Okay. Hey, you think you should be one else? I gotta get out of here. Oh shit. Oh, I can't. It's not for me. I left the chicken in the oven. What? I left the chicken in the oven. Call you, babe. But... <laughs> oh my god. Stefan Bear from Celebs Go Dating has a habit of walking out on dates with some very attractive women. You might think this would hurt his chances, but we see throughout the show that these girls almost always come back, and when they do, they are almost always more interested than before. Doing this actually makes him more attractive because it shows his standards are very high. Scarcity adds value, so when you're willing to walk away from a deal or opportunity, it shows the other person, and everyone around you, that your value is much higher than what you were just offered. If you want to get better opportunities and better love interests, you you have to be willing to reject ones that are below your standards. Doing this can be hard because you might feel like you won't get another chance, but that is not the right mindset to have. To make this work, you have to believe that you can truly get better opportunities and are willing to hold out for them. The more you believe you can get better and don't settle, the faster you will see that it's easy to generate more options and that your value really is high enough to deserve whatever you're asking for. Whether that means hotter girls, better pay, or more opportunities, being willing to walk away from anything that doesn't completely satisfy you will make you more attractive. A lot of these five psychological hacks to be more attractive have something to do with confidence. When people give men dating advice, they always seem to say, be more confident, or just be yourself. The problem with these statements is that confidence is a very broad term, and most people don't even know what it looks like. This is why I have shown you techniques that embody some form of confidence, but in an actionable, tangible form, with real life examples too. I hope you got some value from this video. Let me know down in the comments a time you felt confident, and be sure to follow me on Instagram as well.